I'm going to show you how to fit Vamoose multi awning rail. Uh, these are basically a very similar design and copy of um, uh, the Remo rail. They're just a bit cheaper, they're about £100 cheaper off eBay. This one was £140. Um, I've never fitted a Remo one, so it might be slightly different. You do have to bend it slightly as it fits, so I've kind of halfway through the um, first stage at the moment, which is um, putting the, the rail on the van and fitting temporary screws, screws to bend it in. All you do is you measure 140 mil from this point here forward, where the um, kind of door door edge is here, um, and then you mark it on the front. And then you also measure <coughs> five mil from the shut or from the door shut here. Um, from the bottom or kind of from the top of the seal really just to uh, allow the clearance and then once that's done you simply drill in these i don't know if you can see very well but these um self-tapping screws these are the temporary ones so they're um silver and then as you go you kind of got to bend it to the shape it's um i don't know if the remo ones go straight on i expect they do um but then they're a good hundred pounds more this one comes with all the fitting kit um, a tube of, um, well, silver flex, it's master seal, and obviously the rail and the end pieces. So I'm just going to take these temporary screws out now, um, which will leave the obviously the pre-drilled holes then, and then I've got to um, fit the um, uh, silver flex and then fit the temporary screws on top of that, and then fit the end caps, and that should be it. I was going to do a quick video of how well the solar panels work in. Um, I've only kind of done half the video for that, but it's um, crazily cloudy today and it just keeps on raining. So um, I don't think that's going to happen. If it does, I'll do it. <laughs> um, I wouldn't hold my breath. It'd be nice for photography today, actually, because a lot of um, defying clouds. But um, yeah, I don't know if it's going to be a good light. Uh, it's still raining up here. Um, that's the rail fitted now. All I've got to do is the um, is the M cap. So um, here's the one for the back. All you do is you put some sealant on this end and some sealant on this bit here, and uh, it simply slides into the back like that. So uh, do that now. Once that's done, it's um, Doing the same to the front, but the front does have um, glue already on the back, so I don't think you need to um, sealant the, the um, front. So I'll get on with that now. Right, that's the rail all done now. Um, got the ink end cap on. It's a bit messy to be honest. Uh, it's not a great design. You've got to um, silicone it on. I've actually um, used the same stuff, the Silka Flex, to um, put it on, which is black and it's uh, quite tacky, so it's quite hard to rub off. When it's dry, I'll probably silicone it as well, so um, it looks a bit neater and just fill it flush. Um, this end down here still isn't dried, so I'll just put some um, tape across it to try and hold it down while it's going off. What I'll probably do later on is just um, glue this end piece down as well to make it a lot stronger. Um, 
I wanted it fitted really because um, we're going to the Alps in a few weeks on it and I wanted to use a sun canopy. We've got an awning which um, obviously you can just tie across the back of the rails but it's just too big to take, it's going to take up all our room and um, be a bit of a nightmare really so with a rail we can get just a canopy just um, kind of use the block the sun really when we're in Italy so it'll be a, a lot better for that. Um, got to give it 24 hours to dry now before it can be used. Um, I'll test it out in the next few days to see how good it is and um, yeah hopefully it'll work quite well. Like I say these are about £100 cheaper than the, um, the Remo ones they're about £140 this one was off um, eBay so I'd recommend it like I say it's um, this bit's a bit messy and you do have to kind of bend it into place slightly for instance it doesn't quite go dead flush in the back you can't really see it but um, it'd be nice if they kind of just bend the ends over I mean if I had to do it again I'd probably pre do it before I fitted it um, I mean you can see along the top it's not too bad there's a tiny gap here um, but the rest of it all fits pretty well really so yeah real happy that's how you fit one um, it did say these last few holes you have to pre-drill them so it wants you to fit them down this way and bend it as you go and then um, the last three holes to um, kind of pre-drill and fit them at the end but to be honest I just ended up um, putting the um, self-tapping screws across all of them and then just removed them and fit the proper ones in it worked exactly the same it meant i didn't have to have a drill bit to um pre-drill them and stuff like that and it worked fine i don't know why they want you to um to do it the other way but yeah um it's worked well fit well i've cleaned it all up now so uh, we'll see how it goes